Well, South Carolina is going to be a very competitive state. I'm still holding out that all of the other candidates are going to drop out and endorse me as soon as they come to their senses. If that doesn't happen, then I just have to go out there and beat them all. And the fact is, we really do have some good candidates. Uh, we've got a great slate of candidates. Unlike the Democrats, we're going to have lots of options for people to choose from. And there's some solid, solid people running. I just have to somehow convince people that uh, the experience that I have and uh, the readiness that I have to be commander in chief is, is the right package for being elected president. Lindsey Graham is a friend of mine and I greatly respect his tenacity when it comes to national security in this country. Nobody can second guess Lindsey Graham on his commitment to the security and safety of the nation and I believe his voice will be an important part of it. Uh, how it shakes out between now and February, I just don't know, because we don't know who's in, we don't know who lasts all the way to next February. But he'll definitely be a factor in this race without, without any question about it. I think a lot of people believe that most of my support in 2008 came only from Christian conservatives. I was certainly fortunate and blessed to have a lot of support from, uh, from that constituency. But a lot of the strength of, of my support came from working class people who felt really disconnected from both the donor class and the political class. It's the donor class feeds the political class, who dances to whatever tune the donor class calls, who then receive the donations from the donor class, and it's a vicious cycle. So the Washington to Wall Street axis of power ends up doing great things for the people who live in D.C. or Wall Street, does terrible things for the people who are out there trying to sweat through their clothes, lift heavy things, and bring a, a paycheck home to their family. You're going to voters and saying, please be with me, and they're saying, well, I need to decide because last, you know, last time around I supported Rick Sanborn. You know, my experience is all the smart people, when I ask them to vote for me, all the really smart people are saying yes. They really are. I mean, it's, uh, that's how it's supposed to work, isn't it?